Okay, and at the end, this we will get. All right, so it's great. So far, so good. Now, let's check at the time series plot. Okay, here we have data type for wells, layer, groups, and sector, others. And here we have data source, which data source we want to plot the, the data in the parameter. Now we want to highlight the spatial history, touch this one. We will call the data from CO2 injection hysteresis, right? And then data spatial history. And we want to show the CO2 trap. Okay, CO2 trap. And then we can just add to new plot. Here we have the amount of CO2 trap in mole across time. So CO2 trap in mole across time. Okay. It's great. And we can also plot CO2 aqueous ions, CO2 dissolve, CO2 gas, and then CO2 liquid, CO2 in mineral form, and CO2 supercritical. All right. And then we can touch this CO2 supercritical. And then at curve, we can we can see the supercritical CO2 across time. Okay. And let's check as well the CO2 liquid. Okay. Here. No CO2 in liquid form. CO2 gas at curve. No CO2 in gaseous form. All the CO2 is in supercritical form. Okay, so I think that's about everything for this exercise. So in this case, we we honor, we enable, we apply the hysteresis trapping or residual trapping, which will work to trap more CO2. So in addition to structural trapping or stratigraphic trapping, we also have residual trapping to trap our CO2. And by the way, Previously, we do the modification in the code itself, but we can also do that in the builder. So here we have our builder. 